Yeah. Hello. Hi. Is this oh. your daughter? Mm -mm. Yes. Oh. How are you doing today? Not so good. My head hurts and around my, my, my stomach. And I just don't feel good all the time. You're having some stomach pain and your head mm -hmm. hurts today. How long have you been feeling like this? It's been like that ever since I came back. So you're here today to talk about your visit. Mm -hmm. We know that you went down to the medical center mm -hmm. to talk to the doctor about your illness and your treatment. Mm -hmm. So how did that visit go? My mother went down to Phoenix and I think that with one of the children being there should have been present at least for the information when the doctor explained to her. There's nothing else they can do for her but just to send her back. But we were very upset because, the, you know, why, no one translated for my mother and also no one was there. I imagine it was upsetting to hear that news by yourself. They said they can't um, do any more. By that, I guess, I don't know. Did you understand what the doctor was telling you about the cancer? Not really. Would you like me to review a little bit about the cancer and where you've been and also so that your daughter now can hear more about the cancer and about the options at this point? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Yeah. Well, what we know is that you have this colon cancer and that... Mm -hmm. Although you've tried the treatment, despite what you've done so far, the cancer has spread, mm -hmm. and it's no longer just in the colon. Mm -hmm. Now it's in different parts of your body. Mm -hmm. That could be part of why you're having some discomfort as well. Mm -hmm. And when they say that there's no more to do for you, what they mean is that there is not a treatment at this point that will make that cancer stop growing or go away. So there isn't a cure mm -hmm. for this mm -hmm. cancer. It's grown and it's spread, mm -hmm. and there's not a way to take it away. But there is a lot more that we can do. When you talk about treatment, what kind of treatment are you talking about? I mean, it seems like when she got sent down to the big city, uh, you know, they told her there's nothing else. So mm -hmm. what would you think you might have here that we might have to think about? When we talk about treatment now, we're talking about active treatment to help you feel good as mm -hmm. you continue to live with this cancer. And so that means that if you're having trouble with nausea, we mm -hmm. might be able to have a treatment that could help your stomach. Mm -hmm. If you're having trouble with pain, we might have a treatment that could help with the pain. Oftentimes we're talking about pills and mm -hmm. other medications. Mm -hmm. Are there other types of treatment that you're wondering about? You know, we had a, a, a relative that was sent down to the big city with, um, for the same type of illness. And when she'd visit, and she just, you know, broke down because she never thought to see an uncle like that mm -hmm. with tube in the nose and also have something um, like a tube going in the, in the mouth and also had some little, um, like an IV or some tube was going into the arm here. And she says, I don't want that at all. So what I'm understanding you to say is that it's important to you to not have to be sent off to a big hospital and have to have those types of treatments if they're not going to be helpful. Mm -hmm. And right now I don't think that any of those types mm -hmm. of treatments would be helpful. Okay. What I'm understanding is that you don't really want to go off to a big hospital. What would be important to you? She mentioned that um, she'd like to consider the traditional um, healing um, you know, ceremonies. Um, we want, she wants to talk with one of the medicine men that who can do a chant over her for a five, it's a five day you know, ceremony. She, likes, she wants to do that and maybe um, as a family, you know, we could support her 
and get that ceremony done for her. So what I'm understanding then is that the traditional therapy is very important to you and that can certainly have a very big role in your treatment now as you continue to live with this mm -hmm. cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also will have other treatments to offer you if you feel like you need them. Mm -hmm. And like we talked about before, those would be aimed at your symptoms. So if there are medications that we could offer you that would help with some of your symptoms, mm -hmm. then that would be something that you could consider mm -hmm. in addition to the traditional healing. Are there other family members that you would like involved in some of these discussions? My sister and my brother. Do you think we could set up a meeting where they can all come along with you next time? And then we mm -hmm. can all sit down as a group and mm -hmm. discuss what's important to you mm -hmm. at this point. Well, we'll certainly work with you to find a time that we can all get together. Well, I'd like to examine you now. Okay. And then we'll talk about what types of medications we could use to mm -hmm. help treat that pain that you're having. Okay. Okay. All right.